Despite only lasting one 40-episode season, the late 90s animated series Extreme Ghostbusters, a follow-up to the widely popular The Real Ghostbusters, has gone on to garner a devoted following. Not only prompting fans to demand more adventures of Kylie, Eduardo, Roland, and Garrett, but leaving some with unanswered questions surrounding the short-lived series. Recently featuring a cosplay-centric Ghostbusters episode of the Ship It Show podcast, co-host and voice of Kylie Griffin, Tara Strong, is back, leading an Extreme Ghostbusters reunion, being again joined by Greg Sipes and Miranda Parkin, but this time welcoming special guests Jason Marsden, Billy West, Pat Music, Maurice LaMarche, Reno Romano, and Dave Couillet. And let me tell you something, this entire near hour-long reunion is more than worth your time. And if you want to watch it in its entirety, which you so have to, be sure to check out the link down below in this video's description. As this podcast, it offers up an in-depth, behind-the-scenes glimpse at the series. But among the many highlights, it was Marsden's comments about the reasoning for the show's cancellation that instantly caught our attention, with the actor saying, it needs to come back. I was so, dis I was so jaded thinking I like oh, this is show it's show friends I keep forgetting to know it's show business and when I asked Audu Payton our producer was like so why'd you guys decide to do uh, another Ghostbuster series He's like sell toys yeah what and, and I was like oh that's right that's all it was and because the toys didn't sell to, despite the amazing work everyone did both uh, you know in front of the mic and behind the mic and in the, in the art department all the, the animators it, it was it suffered now, upon hearing the reason for cancellation later in the podcast, Strong said, Go back to Jay because I never knew that was the reason it got canceled. Like, that's yeah. so sad. And, you know, they didn't really put out a lot of toys. So what were they expecting? Like, I, you know, usually when you're on a show that you know comes with a built-in fan base, you do some dope-ass merch. There's some kind of crappy toys, but there weren't, like amazing things right and while on the topic of toys marsden also spoke about his character garrett who is the only lead not to receive an action figure being told that it would be insensitive to children who were in wheelchairs and they were progressive with the show having such diversity and having you know garrett in a wheelchair but they wouldn't make garrett in a wheelchair as an action figure what i was told they 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 thought it'd be insensitive to the children who are in wheelchairs did they never do it jay That's they, they made they went as far as to make and i saw pictures of this a prototype of of, of garrett with bionic legs like it's like oh. and like that's talk about insensitive that's insensitive um but the, the the toys didn't uh and as a as a fan of the og real ghostbusters and who collected the toys they didn't really hold a candle to the original toys no <laughs> No, they were crappy. Again, if you'd like to check out this full podcast, The Extreme Ghostbusters Reunion, we've got it down below in this video's description. And if you happen to have missed the Ghostbusters cosplay-centric episode of The Ship It Show, featuring special guests the SOS Ghostbusters UK, the colander-wearing Jarrett Pressman, and Kylie Griffin cosplayer Emma Moline, we do have a link to that also down below. That's all I've got for you here right now. As always, subscribe. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters news, check out our Patreon page. Wouldn't you know it, a link to that is also down below. And we'll see you right back here next time. <laughs> <laughs>